Welcome to Deep Thought. Many people see only what they want to see. Let me tell a story. Let me tell a story. I remember back, way back when I was in college, uh, I was working with a, a great friend of mine as a DJ, DJ apprentice. And, you know, did a little emceeing, not like, you know, rapping and all of that, but, you know, just announcing some things and everything. I remember, and this was at St. Joseph's University in Philadelphia. And I remember there was one weekend the university hosted a debate con, a debate uh, tournament, something like that, and had high school students from all over the region. And it was a whole bunch of students and, you know, our job, we were hired to DJ an after party and then make announcements as to, you know, who won like different categories. Okay, fine. That, that was actually fun. Great young people. Yeah, you know, we were playing some music and all of that. I remember, though, before we even got started, before we even got started, this young man came up and he said, hey, uh, can y'all play this particular song? And I just said to him, well, we don't have that, sorry, you know? And left it at that, as far as I was concerned. So we got up there, you know, we did our thing, spin our records, you know, Rom had to spit his little bit of stuff. And the floor stayed crowded. I mean, we had these kids jamming. Let me say that again. We had these kids jamming and everything. I mean, they were dancing, having a good time. Okay. After the, uh, we finished, the event was over. That same kid came up to me. He said, hey, if you had played this song, people would have got up and danced. And if people think car rum is rough, y'all didn't know me back then. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I told the kid, get the fuck off the stage. I don't have time to play. You saw all these people dancing. I don't care. He could have reported me. But I was like, what planet are you on? But ever since then, that was an important lesson. People see what they want to see. And, you know, as I got older, learn more, learn more about, uh, I'll just say, abnormal psychology. And, you know, some of the stuff I've talked about on here, personality structures, false beliefs, and all of that. I said, oh, okay, that person, that young man's false belief ignored what was right in front of him. The truth was the floor was filled. That was an objective truth. The floor was filled. It was no time was it ever empty. Kids were dancing to everything we put up, no matter what it was. I mean, shoot, we, we put up some hip hop songs. This is 80s now, this is 80s. And he had a lot of white kids and they were jamming to that too. So I'm like, hmm. But then, you know, and years later, you know, as I grew uh, in my knowledge and, you know, studies and, you know, different types of trainers, I say, oh, okay. That was his false belief. He wanted to believe, hey, if they didn't, we didn't play his one song, oh, it'd be a terrible thing instead of seeing what was there. Now, of course, he could say personally he didn't dance. He could say that, but he can't say no one else didn't dance, but he only saw what he wanted to see. And I see that a lot on, um, actually, I see that a lot on um, YouTube, uh, social media. People will like look at a particular content creator and they will see something they wouldn't see. Like I give you an example, I give you an example. Um, uh, rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. Now, people who have seen Kevin Samuels in real life say that dude is huge. That dude is about 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, in fact, I saw him standing next to another content creator, C Boogie, when, you know, they were doing some activities together. And I know from being in C Boogie's presence, he's about 6'2". Kevin, they were standing together. Kevin was over, uh, taller than him, like significantly so, really. Dude might have been 6'6", six, six, right? Okay, i never forget. I've seen a couple posts when Kevin was, uh, you know, still alive where they say, oh, he's a short man and everything. Okay, no, no, that dude was a giant. Look, here's the thing, but I thought about that too. It was the perceptions. 
See, one of the things going through life, we have to deal with the false beliefs. See, the false beliefs are more than just what we believe, but then it's how we perceive the outside world. We want to believe stuff. We want to make assumptions about stuff. Or really, not even assumptions, just beliefs about something based on what we believe, based on our false belief. I'll use another uh, great example. You know, I'm more known for talking about relationships, right? So, okay, I'll, I'll be talking about the relationships. And, you know, in the spaces, you know, you get a lot of guys saying, oh, it's over if you're under six feet. You know, I've actually seen guys, I've seen comments from guys, they'll say they 5'10", you know, yeah, they can get a woman despite being 5'10". Or, yeah, shoot, even shorter stature than that. Yet, I'm like, oh, and that's their belief. But see, maybe that's their belief for themselves. Maybe that's their personal experience. But overall, it's not. Overall, if we talk about it, if we just look. Now, I've said uh, about like my, you know, my morning height is like 5'11". And it, my height will go between like 5'11 and uh, 5 foot 10.75, not six feet. Oh, I got something else about that too, that belief system. It actually can work for you. But, uh, so okay, I can use myself as a baseline. When I'm out and about, I see plenty of men who are shorter stature, shorter than me, I'm taller than them, walking around, looking happy with, a very, you know, attractive women. Not just decent women, not some buns, but attractive women. And I'm like, uh, because I don't have that belief that it's over, uh, you know, if a guy's under six feet, of course, because this is what I'm seeing, this is the reality. That's an objective reality. You can take all these guys, measure them, and say, oh, okay, none of them are six feet. But then they with a woman. They're fathers. They're all of that. But someone, people want to have that belief. And just real quick, it was funny because I told somebody else this. This about myself. I just told you my height. You know, like I said, through the day. It, and that's a barefoot between uh, 5 foot 10.75 and 5 foot 11. That's a barefoot. So depending on the shoes, could definitely over 5'11", maybe six feet, depending on the shoes. But sometimes the beliefs, uh, I've had a couple women, I was telling somebody I had a couple women who their heights were like 5'10", and they were like, oh, aren't you 6'2"? I ain't know the heels were that good on me, <laughs> but they be wearing heels too, but I would still be taller than them. But that was their perception, you know? So it could be, well, it could be flattering sometimes, but it still wasn't uh, correct. See, one of the things that we all, uh, I say many people see what they only want to see, but I believe how we see the outside world is colored by what we believe. You know, With, you know, if we believe that it's a dangerous world out here, that's what we're going to see. We're going to see all of the danger. But if we believe that everything is good, everything's gonna happen. That's all we wanna see is opportunities. See, it shapes what we see, you know, because yeah, we can talk, we can use the word objective all we want, but everything ultimately is subjective based on ourselves. And if we have several self, uh, false beliefs, we can see the wrong things. Now, getting back to what I started with, I'm like, I always remember that because, trust me, I was getting paid for that event. I was paying attention. Uh, me and the DJ, and um, he's still, he big brother. We still keep up. He, he uh, you know, he's a very good man. You know, married, his two sons are grown, everything. But we would have switched up because as DJs, and yes, that's one of my thousand jobs, you got to pay attention to what's happening on the dance floor. If at any point people, the kids were just standing around milling about, we would have been like, okay, we got to switch up. We never did. That was one of my best events. But yet this kid, because of his own beliefs, was thinking they weren't having fun. No, he should have just said he didn't have fun. But the thing was, we didn't have the record anyway. It was some, it was some weird type. We, shoot, we did a lot of hip-hop popular music stuff. This was something like off of that. 
And we, we, I told him that. I was, I was kind to him at first, at first, because I told him, I said, look, I'm sorry, we don't have that, you, you know? But he's coming up all arrogant. Well, they would have danced if you had that. Dude, they, they were so tight on the dance floor. If I would have tried to walk through it, I would have been like boom, 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 like a, a pinball or something. That's how tight it was. But that was his beliefs. And sometimes when we see stuff, we got to ask ourselves about what's really behind the perception. Because, and you know, I'm going to tell you what. It's, it can be a bad thing, maybe a good thing, it depends, but ultimately it is subjective and it's still what we see, what we acknowledge is going to be based on our beliefs. Because really, and let me just hit something deep in a pathway, I just need to do another video on this, I'll get to it. Uh, when we're going through life, we really focus on what we need to do right then. It's hard to see everything. So, you know, that's just a reality. But then if we have false beliefs about stuff or we have a perception or a bias, that's what we're going to see. Let me end this, a racial bias. A racial bias, we might think a group of people is all one way because of our beliefs, even uh, some experiences, but we haven't met all people of that group. And then what happens is we can have some cognitive dissonance if they behave in, in a way that goes against what our beliefs are. Yeah, definitely, I gotta do another video on that. <laughs> you know? In fact, um, in fact, I'll do, uh, I'll do a video on it next. I'll do it next. I was gonna do something else, but I'm gonna do that next. So tune in for that one tomorrow, all right? And I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.